Hello all, and welcome back to... Uh, uh hold on. This thing's not being very responsive here. There we go. Hello all! Oh god, what the hell is my hair doing? I just co brushed this down and shit, ah. Uh. I'm sorry, that's... I have no idea why I, I, I had such a strange hairdo there for a moment. Oh. Wait, where am I? Lightning field, right. I am not sure what to think about those new Pokemon games. I was kind of completely surprised by it. I had literally just woken up. I was drowsy. Uh, I just... And... Just stumbled onto the... 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 The, the fact that someone making a video about the trailer because... I was like, wait, what? New Pokemon gang? Click. What? <laughs> I just don't know how to feel. I, I I know it's supposed to be a casual game, but I don't... <sighs> I mean, I'm going to play it. But... Uh, did I talk about this on the last video? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to think of things to talk about. Not everything comes out clear in the head. <laughs> mm, Rocky as Frick. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. It appears I w was being overly cautious before with constantly uh, cleaning and defragging my computer before I stream because I decided to test whether I need to do that today. I mean, I'm sure I might have needed it before because of how <clears throat> much crap was on there. I got a lot of crap. I. I that I wanted on there, but I didn't need, and... Yeah, it seems like I don't need to worry about that as much anymore. Hmm. Talk about... So, I've heard good things about SS... I mean, SAO, uh... Alternative GGO. Yeah, you gotta, I, I'm not a, I'm not a normal fan of SAO, but I've heard a lot of good things about that. Sounds like another case, of, from what I understand, sounds like another case of someone writing Ricky Gara Ricky the guy who writes SAO's story better than he does. Because. Yeah, SA SAO then great. I've tried watching it. It's not great. It's just wish fulfillment bullshit that's degraded into fan servicey bullshit. I think my favorite I I, I love watching videos of people rag on the series because it's always just fun to see people come up with new ways to describe why what uh thir why certain things are fucking up in anime or SAO. FAO or anime in general are awful. And I, I think this description I heard in regard to it. Basically, the women didn't dress in what clothing that an actually human would wear and not, you know, lingerie. Which about sums up most 
fan service outfits. Ah. But yeah, no, it actually looks like it's got an interesting story that actually explores, you know. Seems like why video games and online friends and all that can be just as important as real life. Something that not as many thing, uh, it's, uh, it's not a thing as, that many people actually explore, from what I understand. Or explore well. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure, uh, what's its name? Uh, my memory shit. If you watch my videos a while, you, you've known that. There's a reason why I take notes whenever I, I make one of my movie vlogs. Because even if I just got done watching the movie five minutes earlier, I cannot remember shit, usually. With the exception of, so of Solo. That is probably the only case where I've uh, actually had no trouble remembering what the hell was going on. Which, uh, by the way, that will be up, up uh, this Friday. But even if I heard you think about it, I'm not likely to watch it anytime soon because ah, there's so many shows I gotta watch. And only so many spots open on my uh, reaction uh, channel uh, posting list. I plan on doing at least one TV show a week, but honestly, once I get to a show that uh, has a backlog has uh, more than one episode for, at a time for me to watch, I'll probably try to record multiple in one session. <laughs> Just because uh, I prefer doing it that way. But like, for instance, I plan on re doing a reaction series to My Hero Academia. But that's way down the list. Once I catch up to the stuff I've got now, which is by its very nature, higher priority. Nah. Bump. Oh, wow. Well, now... Ah, that was probably the boost for my guy's uh, level up to 50. That made that plus a little recruit. Or at least easier to recruit. Yeah, just grab a rock. Oh, money. Uh, I'm, 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 I was some reason amused by that. I like to was dying to a thunderbolt. You goddamn idiot. Good thing he didn't really need that. Mm. What was I saying? Oh, right, yeah. Honestly, I'd be working my way through the Clone Wars TV show by now, but... My old uh, reaction channel got nuked a long while back, and that was the video I posted when it happened. And it, here's the thing. I still have no idea if that's actually related to what happened or not. I mean, it looks like it, it correlates, yes, but correlation does not mean causation. And as far as I can tell... I was never, I was just told my channel was gone. I was never told why it was deleted. No specifics, just gone. And considering I was, ne I never got in trouble, uh, 
with the rules before that. Sure, I'm so post stuff that's got a copyright claim, but well, it's a reaction channel, and I don't mind that. As long as it, the video stays up, I don't care. You can take the money. It's not like I was making any, any anyways. So, yeah, I, I've just, Plus, I've been just trying to repost all the crap I had originally posted. Minus a few things here and there. Plus, all the crap I can't repost was... Oh. Because I lost it. I just realized I didn't get any ice for my drink. Yeah, I'll wait half an hour until uh, half an hour has passed and bug out to get that. Whoops. <sighs> Good thing it's a <laughs> a relatively cool day. I don't even have the air conditioner on, and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but, yeah. Once I catch up, I do plan on actually doing, continuing the Clone Wars. I just, uh, post it somewhere else in YouTube, because, you know, fuck that shit. I mean, it's not like I didn't carefully ma go through all the work to edit it down to a appropriate times. No. Hidden. I, didn't t I totally did that. So again, I don't know what the heck caused it, but I'm not taking the chance with that again. Oh, it's even more annoying because VidMe shut down just when I was beginning to use it. <laughs> like, it was just after I was beginning to use VidMe. And then, not long later, bam. But because of that, I lost a lot of my older videos, which weren't even reactions. They were, uh, my movie reviews, but done for, well, one of them was a movie review, another was a TV show. Holy shit. Okay, you know what? You stupid asshole. I'm annoyed because of how much damage these fucks are doing. Holy shit. Holy shit. Stop! 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 Die! Holy shit. Fuck stones. Holy shit. Fuck gravel rock. That shit's dangerous. So. <laughs> I mean, even putting aside the shows I've got to react to, there's also a lot of shows I haven't watched in a while that I need to catch up on. Like, I'm catching up with the Marvel MCU shows alongside watching the movies as they came out and everything. Damn it! Ah. Okay. Eat. Proceed. No. 
it. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, shows that I watch. I'm like, I've got the MCU shows. I've got the Arrowverse to catch up on. I really liked Flash season one, so I kind of want to know what happened in that. But originally, I was putting it off because I wanted to record reactions. But I've, I, I'm not doing it at reactions to shows ha over a half an hour long. I'm sorry, that is new. The amount of effort it takes to ter make it take a re reaction of something that's around 27 minutes long and, t or, and turn it into 10 less than 10 minutes. You boy. It's not an easy thing to do. You think it's just sitting in front of a camera, but no, you gotta do it well, when you properly do it for a TV show, it takes a lot of recording effort. I mean, editing effort. And I hate editing. So yeah, no, that's not happening. I'd have to cut too much shit. Hell, the only reason I can pull it off now is because I have, uh... I, I take notes instead during it. And then I usually spend at least 10 or so minutes talking about the show. Usually longer. Oh wait, it's down there. Do we? Holy a right you. But, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Right. Yeah, I need to catch up with the Arrowverse. Ugh. Then there's Doctor Who, which I haven't watched since uh, the end of uh, Matt Smith's run. So that's not because I what didn't want to watch it or anything. I couldn't at the time. Without uh, jumping through some loopholes. Let's call him. <sighs> then there was a couple dozen Netflix shows. Uh, oh, not a couple dozen. A few Netflix shows I was pretty sure I was interested in. Like Voltron and stuff like that. I wanted to catch up with the Power Rangers... I'm not so much interested in watching the show for itself anymore. More out of, what are they doing with the thing I watched as a kid nowadays? I don't know, maybe they'll bring me back in, but, eh. I mean, to be fair, Jungle Fury was actually pretty interesting, and it's where I stopped off early on. But, ugh. And then there's Digimon. Try, ugh, so many shows to watch nowadays. I mean, I'd have more time, but I spend a lot of my time doing this instead, even if I only stream for two hours. I still have to take the, the minute amount of time to edit it out. Edit it. Uh, usually just so I can edit out those gaps when I... I usually just edit. Yeah, I'll do a minute amount of editing to the, uh, the sound so that, you know, uh, oh my god, I hate you. Oh, I'm so glad I'm ground type.
Smack. 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 Oh my god. Okay, what the hell is this again? Dig. That takes time. Like, I mentioned I'm doing a playthrough of New Vegas while doing this, but uh. I can't do, like, admittedly, if I had to get enough computer, I probably would just be playing New Vegas while on here. Heck, I might even be playing for longer periods of time. Eh. But that's unlikely. Because that's not just a computer problem, that's a, I can't afford to spend that time. That won't be forever, but... Ugh. And then there are, of course, the shows I want to rewatch, like Scrubs and stuff. Man, that show was great. Except for the ninth season. But I don't blame the writers for that, because they had wanted to end this se the show at season 8. And it got brought back for one more season. That was purely on the fans. Ah! Why? Why have you come? This is Lightning Field. It is my domain! I am Raikou, one who races with lightning. A body like rolling ring clouds. A roar that echoes the thunder. Many have transpassed on my domain. But what became of them? Let me demonstrate. And you too shall experience the pain they suffer. Use. Boop. Wait, he ain't actually fit on the team. Never mind. Wait, what am I doing? He is. Dang, I was hoping to beat him and get him on the team. Go! Oh, how dare you! How? How did this happen? But regardless, you have won. Let me hear your wish. <sighs> him. This, this is the Red Wing. You stand back. Oh, they electrified the Red Wing. The Red Wing transformed into the Sunset Ring. Oh, that. Oh, that's actually a nice touch. Oh, I didn't. I, I just thought it would be the red and yellow ring, the sunset, because it's a combination. Oh, that's actually... Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay. And that's why it's the rainbow ring. Not because it's just free colors, but because it gradiates between the free colors. Go northeast to a place called the North Wind Field. You have a Pokemon named 
their name Sukun. And if you are lucky enough to meet Sukun, perhaps your wish will come true. Bam 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 bam! And then there's this North Wind Field. Right, well, my voice is actually hurting from uh, that vo doing that thing. So I'm just going to sa save it and I'm going to take a brief break to get myself some ice because I'm an idiot and forgot it. Right, okay. I'm back. But, okay, hold on. <sighs> kind of ran up the steps. Oh, it appears you're going to be listening to this. This fan do does make a bit more sound than I realized. I've only ever used it with the air conditioner. Hold on. And I only need it on for a bit because uh, uh, long sleeve shirt. Running up steps. Eef. Well, not running, but moving as quickly as I physically can. Ah. Uh. those back in and replacing them in there and replacing them with some more of my apple horde. Job list. I should not bother getting any more until I'm through and done with it. These areas, at least. Boom. Yeah, I'm mouthing along with the songs. I talked about it. I've never. I've long since run out of things to talk about in this game. 
you know, with no one to talk to, uh, it's just leave me playing. Hold on. Sorry, there's a t cushion I have on the back of this chair. I was reaching to grab it, and I was repositioning myself, so I'm and sit am sitting a bit strangely in the chair. I have no idea why I, I prefer sitting this way than with my legs on the ground. I wonder, am I even going to bother going for uh, Lucario rank? What? Oh. Well, gotta save because that wants me to save. I have to do it manually. Oh. Apparently I didn't save on here earlier. Oh boy. Frosted. Whoops, uh, I actually forgot to do the thing I always do at the beginning. Thank goodness. Eat. Item, gold, eat. Eat. 35, 135. Now that's a good amount. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. There we are. Oh, I got something to talk about. Has anyone ever heard of something called The Gamer? Not gamers. The Gamer. It, it's a form of, uh, manhwa. Uh, online manhwa. Like, it's a webcomic, but it's also manhwa. Because it's made in fan, so it's... A web manhwa. And it's not really all that good. Right, now this one. It's like, what? Hold on, am I clicking the bong button here? Yes, I was. Oh, you idiot. Just yes, when I regain movement, the idiot moves down right in front of me. But just as I move. But, okay, it's basically a urban fa- a not very good urban fantasy series that is infamous for the basic gist of what the uh, power of the main character. And famous. The gamer ability. Basically, he's a video game character. Specifically, a video game character from a really poorly designed video game. All about grinding to absurd stats and sh stat of absurd amounts of grinding and shit like that. It's not, not, no, no. It, it's just not very well all about designed on its own, anyways. But his power works like a video game. He lines the randomly gained powers, full powers out of his ass, uh, via skills.
quick level ups to gain points and all sorts of other silly dumb stuff. On its own, it's not, it's fairly harmless, though I criticize it, it's honestly fairly harmless. The problem comes about in the fact that it's, people love writing really shitty fanfics crossed over with it. Be, uh, crossing over a, another game series with that. Usually, giving a, a character from the setting that power. The main problem with these stories is, well, the people who write them tend to do it one-handed, if you catch my drift. They're not boring stories, I should mention. They're poorly written stories that might as well be poor without soaked in their creator's, uh, Cantina music. Star Wars Cantina music. If you catch, if you understand what that means. Now seriously, look up what Star Wars Cantina music is called. You'll laugh your ass off. If you don't already know. But yeah. No. The power set itself is interesting. The problem is it's usually just an excuse to make take one character from a setting and turn them into a basic god, basically a god, but through a week's worth of uh, grinding. It is not well written. Usually well written at all. So far, I think I've only ever read two good ones. An unfinished Naruto fic that actually predates the gamer, but had the basic, same basic idea. Naruto gains the ga gamer abilities. Complete with save it and load. Of course, the neat little twist is he gains this really early on when he doesn't really understand what's going on, and it actually hampers him a lot. And once he finally gets out of what he learns is the tutorial, it auto-locks so he can't go reload. It's, and of course, just when he finally becomes powerful enough that he could actually save someone he cares about, he's locked out of being able to save the person he cares about. And most importantly, unlike the gamer, it actually brings other people in and shares the power. The gamer, some inter versions of the gamer power set can do that. But this one, once you're part of it, you're stuck as part of this group, experiencing the saving and loading too, and it's usually well done. Like the fact that they end up having to, because they can only save and load when he dies, not anyone else, just him. And, well, they're just, there's no transition for them. They're just suddenly doing, standing where they were when they saved. It, no matter what happened and what they were doing. Which can lead to them suffering consequences for that moment. I, it might not sound great, but it honestly is fairly well done. A well handling of the conflict and stuff. And unfortunately, it'll never be finished because the uh, guy who wrote it disappeared. Like, I, I have no idea what happened to him. He wrote another two other really, really good Naruto fanfics as well. But uh, that I'll get to those later. I'll just, he's called Rathanal. Rathanal? I, I forget what the name of it is, so I'll have to look it up later. But it, it, it's really good.
I know the name of his other two stories, so. It, the empty cage and swapping the cage, but I'll get to that later. Right, I can't attack. Stupid frickin'. The other one is this Young Justice self-insert. Yeah, I know, that usually sounds terrible, but the twist is that the self-insert is being done by his adult self, uh, and he ran by the, an adult who's inserting his 13-year-old edgelord, his stupid, correction, his stupid edgelord self into a setting that he knows that didn't come out until a few years later. So it's pretty entertaining just from that. Oh, you fucking asshole. Well, that's good. Sorry, I have enough trouble with that one dumbass doing things. Oh, did I not properly sort these? Dang it, I did, didn't I? So... Whoops, uh, get. Give. Uh, I was intending to use these for this when I started. Ah, that's good. 150. Shouldn't have to worry about hunger for a good long while. Oh. Oh my god, just... Oh. Thank god. Oh, it's a good thing infatuation doesn't mean I need to... Stay there and take it like a bitch. I can move. What was I, uh, talking about? Right, right, yeah. Furthermore, they've slowed down the, the normal ability to grind a hundred, a 20 stats in a week to, for a single focus stats for a single, uh, points for a single stat. And made it so that it takes months just to go up a two or three. I made like two or three in all of them, but that's just from, you know, trying to get all of them up, because the others won't go up. It, it's honestly fairly amusing, because the main character is, as I mentioned, your standard 13-year-old edgelord dumbass. It's a Young Justice SI, so... Yeah, for what I was saying before, though, with the Naru other Naruto fix written by that one guy, since, yeah, I'm finished talking about that, and I just learned those. Oh, those are some good shit. Right, okay, I'll start with the first one, Empty the Cage. Now, you might think Empty the Cage and Solving the Cage are, sequ are given their names, are, you know, sequels and everything. Part of the same series. And you're sort of right? Empty Cage is about a drastic AQ that was being written, uh, but I believe during the start of the Four Shinobi War arc. So there was a lot of stuff not known really well that all that well known. I 
Maybe not even that. So they are sort of just cooked up their own version of the setting with a lot of differences, and it's all well, really well thought out. Holy shit, okay, maybe it does mean I can't move. That's horrible. I hate that. Oh god, oh. Yeah, well, I don't want to take it from the team. I'm gonna try to find this shit. Yeesh. But, right, anyways, uh. But the basic premise is things go very wrong on the ceiling of the UV into Naruto. The way this version works is anyone within the area of the seal in effect dies in order to seal the the person in a prison that can't be broken out of with ease. It can be done. Actually no, it couldn't. This version couldn't be broken up out of at all. That's right. At least it for the method they use normally. The brute force method. But yeah, it killed everyone. Including the young baby Naruto. Hence, the empty cage. I mean, there's something in there. It's just, no, just Naruto's not the one in control of that body. It's the QB, or a very different version of the QB, who's... Very much is an actual demon. And proceeds to, well, puppet the... Learn to puppet and keep alive the meat suit while trying to pretend to be human. Because, you know, he wants to learn enough to escape, and if, and after piecing some later things together, go on a rescue man to save all his brothers. Much of the fic is established on misunderstanding. His attempts to be human, and then his attempts to cover that up, Leading the people coming to different conclusions. One of the many results of the change is the fact that he grows up, he ends up adopted by the Eno, I mean the Yamanaka family. Yeah, the mind uh, readers slash controllers. Holy shit. Oh, I hate that. I hate that move. It's my move. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, shit. But, yeah. What was I Ah, right, right. I lost track because I was paying attention to get more attention to the game. Oh, hey, a deli bird! Oh, and how bucks, too. But, yeah. I won't go into much just that. A lot of the misunderstandings and such play into his favor, though unconsciously, but eventually he does get at least somewhat found out. I'll just say that much. He also grows to some possess some level of empathy for humanity. When from before he just didn't give a shit. He's still focused on his mission, but He certainly no longer just wants to make all the humans suffer.
Swapping the cage is an interesting twist set. I don't know exactly when. Oh, uh, wait, now I remember. Right before the test, everyone takes to prove that to, to become a ninja at the start of the series. It's quickly discovered that something's not right, with both sides being heavily suspicious of each other, before eventually he does prove that he's Naruto, and thus takes up the, a life in this alternate... Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Right. But, yeah, swapping the cage's stick is that it swaps, yeah, the main character of that pick for the normal Naruto. And that's it. That one's pretty good because, well, seeing this guy boggle at all the many differences between their world's history. And, of course, the reactions of the local characters when they stumble across the, uh, biases or lack of or how or stuff that their lack of biases towards this version of Naruto allow them to notice that the other ones did it for a long time. Especially as he discovers that far more things about this world are different than he suspected. What the heck is this? That's... That's not water, that's... That's clouds of some sort. What? How do, how do we get to floating? I don't... What? Oh, thank god. Oh! Fuck gravel rock. Yes. Further up. That one is. Both of those fix are f unfortunately also unfinished because, again, the Arthur disappeared off the face of the web. But, good. But at least he got much further along, and there's actually though. You, though uh, you'll need to go to uh, Space Battles to actually read the first the long he was, because he was posting chapters early there to get to basically use the the reviewers as a soundboard for things. That one at at least empty the cage managed to get about. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. My shit's getting fucked up here. Holy shit, gold duck. But, uh, 
uh, yeah. The other one, it, yeah, Empty Cage, I think, made it to its third arc, finished of its second arc, and might have started its third arc. It's been a long time since I've read it. And Swapping the Cage, I don't think made it past its, no, it completed its first arc. So both of those, I'd recommend checking out. It's good stuff, if you're into Naruto. Wait, it's much better than what we're getting now out of Boruto. God, I don't like that manga. Like, first, the art itself is terrible. Second, the art style is shit. And a massive departure from what was. In ways I can't even understand. Like, okay, let's start with a little bit. First... It took all the uh, female characters from the last series who were, were growing up, all grown up and, well, grown out. And not only made them ugly, but fly the board. In all ways. Even the ones who are mothers. Who should all, by right, have at least some hips. And did. At the end of the series. But now, a few years later... Somehow they've got become rail sk rail skin, uh, rail thin, and don't they don't even look like who they're supposed to be? That's the annoying part. Well, one or two do, but uh, but no. On top of that, you take the uh, the fact that they changed the the character design of what well, the fan favorite character who is, I should remind you, 12, and put her in an outfit that, quite frankly, the only reason she's not constantly flashing people is because <laughs> it's uh, her skirt is always conveniently in the right place that that doesn't happen. Who is, once again, 12. Like, I'm normally annoyed by this shit, but at least most anime that do that shit, anime that do that shit, do it to the all the women. It's really something else to see them make most of the women ugly, just so that the women ugly, while taking the 12 year old girl and putting her in an outfit like that, especially since she was already had one that was perfectly fine. Wasn't like that, and we're of course, it's not like they don't go out of their way to shit on her character, too. Which is really annoying when she was, like, the, not only the best female character in the series, but one of the most interesting characters in the series. Period. <clears throat> Man, I, I, I really don't like Boruto. It's blatant catch trap bullshit. I've heard people comparing it to GT from Dragon Ball Z, and I'm like, what? No, fuck you. At least GT tr had a feeling like there was actual effort being put in. I don't get that out of this series. It's a lazy cash grab. Because, eh, if nothing else, GT actually struggled to make everything it did look like something out of actual Dragon Ball. Nothing actually looked out of place. Even the new transformation that introduced in the series looks like something that Toriyama would draw. It wasn't. He, he didn't make it until then. He never, he didn't draw it until years later. As a tribute to the guy who Studied his uh, drawing star all so well that he was able to mimic it well enough to fool people like that. There was a lot of effort put into GT. That was, I, I, I do not 
feel like there's any put in Burrito. It's a lazy, blatant crash grab. That doesn't even use the interesting next-gen pr protagonist. The one we already had a, had a uh, entire set, couple chapters dedicated to that everyone loved. Ugh. Oh yay, more uh, water stones. You know what, I'm checking something. I am really am curious about this. Uh, check, I, oh, excuse me. Need to click that stupid thing off. Yep, I was right. I mean, I still read it just to keep up with other what other fans and shit are talking about when they reference the series. But, ugh. It's annoying. Halt! Why are you here? No, that's not a good voice. Clear, embracing air. Crystalline, impure water. The stand guard over this beautiful and untainted land. That is why I'm here. I am Suicune. One who runs with the north wind. Intruders foul. Hold the air with their outside yields. This is but one solution for evaders. Explosion by force. Here I come. Hmm. I don't think I did a good job with those, that voice. Okay. Yes, thank you, speed boost. Get off my screen. There we go. Really? Wow. Thunderbolt did barely anything? What? Why? What? What? Why am I holding a stick? Where's the stamina band? Whoa! I have lost. I admit it. You are strong. This, the sunset wing. I see. You come seeking the mirage, Pokemon. Step back. Come on! I lost the voice there, didn't I? Had unsettled the sunset wing. Transformed into the rainbow wing. Knew it. Gathering in seven colors of the rainbow. The swing is beautiful beyond description. Oh, it's an actual rainbow wing. Oh, okay. Rainbow wing is the key to meeting the Mirage Pokemon. Take the swing. Take it to the mountain so that high, so high that its peak is secured by clouds. Yes. Take it to Mount Far Away. The Mirage Pokemon at its peak. Real original name there. I mean. Ah. Okay, hold on. What? Item check. WHY DO I HAVE A STICK?! Oh no, did my stamina band get knocked off me? Oh, I hate- I'm angry. Excuse me, I need to go get a- Thankfully, I stockpile this shit for a reason. Ugh. Oh, I, I need sword crap. Wonderful. <sighs>
Right, I don't need uh, this more any orange berries, I don't think. Take. Stamina band. Oh, frick, I only have one extra of those. Oh, I'm gonna have to get more. Ugh, that's annoying. I was about to start grabbing a bunch of apples, but I still haven't checked the place above, so. Crash. Let's see. Well, I've got Reviver Seeds, but eh. I think I might have enough of those, actually. Yes, I want to sell it. God damn it. It's worthless. I. No, I don't want to store, I want to take. Yep, just enough to fill it up. Let's see. I think I might, uh... No, no, I don't want to store. I want to take. While I'm here, I might as well just get all these. Southern Island, bye. Mount far away. Oh, I forgot to save before after I did all that. <laughs> well, good time as any. Let's see. Uh... There we go.
<sighs> now I'm prepared for the long haul with this uh, level. Eat. Holy shit, they leveled up. Uh, wait, what? Info? <laughs> Try attack. Oh, that's cool. I, I always like shit like that. Multi-elemental attacks. No, 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 no. I want the info. Hmm. Eh, sure, why not? I never use that anyways. Now to begin scarfing down apples. gonna be a hundred plus dungeon I want to not worry have to worry about you know eating while going through it Ugh. the more and more I do stuff like this the more and more I grow to uh, fear uh, what a uh, My brain's uh, failing me at the moment, so I like, completely forgot what I said. Oh yeah, now nah, that I would not be able to handle the uh, ultimate dungeon. Like seriously, that's basically the only. That uh, it's basically a roguelike uh, section of the game. Ah, I'm. I'm always been more of a roguelike fan to myself. For some pro, I prefer, prefer keeping progress and all that shit. But the only thing you get to keep is your uh, moves that are boosted, your moves, and how much they are boosted by uh, that uh, hmm. that one thing you get from uh, Mach uh, Machi Vida. I think. So it's for the G is a root of some kind. Found in the Ma Appalachian Mountains. Uh, or Appalachian. Whatever people want to call it. That's great. Punching types. <laughs> ah, gotta love Heat Wave. Nothing better for clearing a room. Oh god, I just thought, man, what would this game would be like if the AI worked like Dragon Age? Yeah, you can set them to react only to specific situations. That way you can ensure that uh, stuff like Heat Wave would only ever be used. <sighs> when there's uh, a lot of enemies. Seven floor. Man, would it pay you to do a line? Kinda wish I had that ability you had in Four Sword where you could force your uh, guys into a line and shit.
So I just recently watched Luke Cage season one. It was good. I didn't really know much about Luke Cage, but I still couldn't stop now myself from cheering when we saw him in his classic outfit. Also, I was inordinately happy when he started saying Sweet Christmas. So. I just wish he would wear a, you know, his outfit more often, or at least the uh, easiest things to do modernly, you know. A yellow shirt and jeans. It's not that hard, guys. I mean, yeah, when people think Luke, old school Luke Cage, they think Luke Cage wearing the open sh yellow shirt, the jeans, the cage belt, and the crown and armbands, but... Eh. Hmm. Sorry about that. I love you. What the hell? I just wanted to open this shit up. Ugh. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be watching Doctor Strange soon. I don't really know much about that movie, although, oh, hey, one of my evolutions is here. Outside the fact that in order to appeal to ra racist Chinese people, that, uh... Or xenophobic Chinese people, they, uh change the old Tibetan master character into a into a uh, old Irish I think Irish woman and that's about it which is certainly an odd choice Gosh, kids these days just need to learn to respect their elders. Yeah, that joke didn't work. That was a joke about me beating up the, you know, previous version of my mon. Yeah, I really like the Luke Cage's show. I definitely have to put it as the second favorite of the Netflix uh, Marvel shows. Devil, Devil the Best, and Richard Jones in third place. I haven't seen Iron Fist or Defenders yet. Or even Jessica Jones. Ugh, season 2. <sighs> Smack. Smack. Ah, oh, good. Iroh Marsh stomped his ass. Ah, ah, ah. Not the pun. Not the terrible pun. Ah, leg cramp. Ah.
Popeye shirt, by the way. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a snowy mountain outside of my occasional bad pun, bad jokes. Ugh. <sighs> oh boy. Right now, if I had to gauge how many sessions of this game I've got left, I'd say I'd probably got 10. But I haven't looked at how many uh, uh, areas I haven't been to yet that I want to do a full run through yet. But considering I, with most of these I can do them in more than one session, I'd say 10 works. I'll be able to not catch but recruit a uh, ho ho. Oh no, a bubble bean. Smack. Oh, Parasect. Well, 
Mama, mama, mama. Hey, I've heard some good things about Bloodstain, though I think only the, uh, that side game, Curse of the Moon, is out, but everything I've heard says it's a, it's at least as good as the old Castlevania games, so, hey, it means that just because my nine, my number nine was a complete flop, and it's greater than Imbecile, who didn't know with a, a lying imbecile. Doesn't mean all of those uh, people attempting to do that are. Russad. Ah, oh, joy, hell. Ooh, that ice water effect. Tis nice. Yeah, it's a good game. Dark Cloud. I've heard a lot of good things about Dark Cloud 2, but I've never even finished Dark Cloud 1. Partly that's, partly that's my fault, partly that's the fault because that when I first played it, it wasn't even on my console, and I was almost never allowed to touch that guy's uh, console. I think I have a copy of it somewhere, but I have no idea where it went, which is annoying, so I, it'll be a long time before I ever get to play complete that game. Probably because I don't, I only really play, uh, I, I very slowly play through a console game if I'm uh, that I'm not live streaming and I have to choose one that either I won't live stream or I won't live stream for a long time like say New Vegas because I prefer games I either haven't experienced yet or haven't finished experiencing yet be due online Or for various other reasons, like the Dragon Age games and Mass Effect, it's because I want to get them digitally. I actually only own the second Mass Effect game, because I rented the other two. I mean, I'm pretty sure I own DLC for them, but for, for Xbox, but yeah, I won't want to play those on PC, but I'm pretty sure this computer, uh, I'm pretty sure, I, I know for a fact this computer can't play them. I think it might be able to play KOTOR, but again, it's like, those. I want to use mods. With Dragon Age 1 and most of the Mass Effect games, I only want mods to fix a few things here and there that are caused by, uh, things behind the scenes not working right. Ah, goddamn idiot. Oh, there I don't want that money I was going to grab. But... Uh, with Dragon Age 2, there's a lot of things I want to actually complete. I want to be able to fix. With, I mean, with Dragon Age 1, mostly I just want to fix some of the importing stuff, like Hammerant's keep. The keep from Awakening. Because there's a glitch to that. A certain quest from Awakening that I never got because it's damn near impossible to trigger. 
because it requires a certain random encounter and well those are e damn near impossible to even load at the point I was trying to And then there was, but yeah, and Dragon Age 2 though, oh boy. Well first, and it's important, I wanna fix that stupid problem that makes it so that all that uh, almost none of the art equipment has uh, the unique equipment has uh, a self-leveling mechanic. It really, it really should have. That pissed me off. Wow. That was lucky. Because, uh... Think. Brain, think. Right, yeah, because... And I wouldn't have a problem with it if one, you didn't have at least one kit. I have one character in the game with that, a weapon with that. And two, it basically renders a lot of the uh, equipment shit. Oh, I'd also be me. <sighs> Trying to find a way of making it so you could actually gain a chunk of the levels that you should have been able to gain. Which one thing? I'm always I'm very sad that Dragon Age Two they never got that big expansion pack they were originally intending to give it because of all the backlash. Yeah, it wasn't a perfect game. I'm not going to say it was. Oh my god! There. Fuck. Oh, I hate you. Die. Leader. A wave. Ah, oh, that is so, so good. Leader. Boy, double explosion. Oh, no, whatever I will I do. Okay, why did I start with X when I open that menu up? I guess I'll never be able to figure out why that shit does that shit. Use. Ah, oh, I love this move. Hmm. 
Oh, hey, it's a Feraligator. Oh, I'm gonna say a Croconaw. Man, I've never really got the design of Croconaw. Ha! Vindication. Carrying with that crap with me all the time. Oh, a friend bow. Oh, I'm definitely going to fight that while fighting Ho-Ho. Wear that while fighting Ho-Ho. Huh. Thinking about it, I'm wondering how much health points I'll have when this is all over, since I only gain one per level. That would be four. Six. Six. 176. I don't know if there's things I can get that can help increase that. favorite type of uh, mechanics in a game is the one where in, in uh, big open world RPGs where if you uh, fight against say a particular type of enemy often enough you get a extra bonus for fighting that kind of guy like uh, in Fall New Vegas you kill enough in bug enemies you gain a uh, perk that makes you do just a bit more damage. Not a lot, but it's something I really like. Because if you've been fighting that type of thing, fighting what, like if you say been hunting a certain type of animal on a routine basis for a long time, you'll well have learned how to take it down really well. Oh yeah, I'm real scared. Real scared. Die, Lily. Oh, thank God. Ah! Thank you. 
Boom. Well, I'll, uh, thank you for creating that shortcut. I guess. And yes, next floor. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not working near close to finishing with this place by this episode. I plan on doing once I've uh, got a new computer and have some money in between buy saving up to buy uh, the next big thing I need. I want to get a bunch of a uh, of a type of spice. I forget what it's called. I'm not going straight to ghost pepper because that's insane. No, well, I'd like to condition myself to spices a bit more before I get to that point. And I want to play, like, a hard, uh, game. Not Spelunky or hard, but, like, say, Mega Man 2 or 1 hard. Eat a cheat for infinite lives and just, every time I die, I have to eat one of those. It sounds like it'd be fun for a stream. They cheat because I know I'd run out of lives before the stream was over if I was trying to play through the, the pain. I keep forgetting to, but I really need to... Ugh, sorry, I was stretching. Set up a link to my Twitter. give me a way to hit everyone in the move. But it would also, A, affect my allies, and B, I know for a fact it's not as good as magnitude. I will say that I like the atmosphere of this level, at least the uh, design, the uh, like atmosphere. The way the water, the ice cold water glows, is a nice effect. But oh uh, yeah, what I was talking about before, because 
The reason I was bringing it up is I've heard that there's this uh, Skyrim mod that gives you a bunch of in-game achievements that will reward you in a bunch, bunch of different ways. Like one that I believe increases the speed that you, uh, not gain, you need, you need XP, uh, increased skills, I think it is, based on how many books you, in game, you've actually read. Or you kill a certain type of, enough of, well, certain type of enemy, you get better at killing them. Personally, if I was uh, doing that, I'd probably end up combining it with those mods that also uh, make you better at use using a spell the more you use it. Maybe, I think. Well, it depends on how compatible it would be with, of course, uh, other mods I really want to use more. But that achievement one is really interesting to me. I like it. Oh, uh, and uh, there's this possibility that Fallout 3 and uh, New Vegas are getting something. And whatever it is that Fallout 3 is getting will be at least 5 point something gigabytes. Yeah. They know this because the same thing that people are using to uh, predict it. <sighs> was also how they predicted the re the incoming release of the last Fallout 4 DLC. Or DLC, more accurately, the Creation Club. Yeah. That, so, I wouldn't put it out there that as impossible that we get the, uh, Creation Cup for Fall 4 free in New Vegas. Not likely, but considering the size of the update, but. or the DLC. It, they, people know because of some thing that checks Steam for a special way, and all they know is that both those things are unnamed, and one of them has a listed size. Excellent! You have done well to come this far. You have overcome countless challenges! Fought through many dangerous situations, and finally ascended the very peak of Mount Far Away. Truly, only the Chosen have reached the summit. However, this is not the end. I am Ho Ho. I am the builder of rainbows across the sky. Only when you come and overcome me in battle, as when the mountain is conquered. This is the final challenge. Here I come. Okay, first. Give. Ah, okay. For some reason, this song is reminding me of a very different song. It's, how did it go? Sometimes. <laughs> no, I can't remember the lyrics of the song. Just sometimes. <laughs> Chip 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 and Dale Rescue Rangers Chip 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 and Dale Well, it reminded me for a few seconds there in the beginning. It no longer does that, but I think a, a bar, some bars of it for some reason reminded me, and I have no idea why.
Oh, Mal. Level 51. I guess I didn't recruit him. Dang. Even hotter now. Ugh. <laughs> they, they both leveled up. As always. Frenbo. <sighs> the next morning. Ooh! More plot stuff. No, morning. But only by time. Not morning, but only by time. Time so early in the morning that everyone is still in bed. Whoa! What? What is it? What? What's happening outside? Whoosh! This sound. Something's coming closer. Whoosh! What the fuck? What just happened? They're going toward the mountain range in the north? Yeah, so let's see. They're still early. I'll catch up on a little more sleep. <laughs> like, it is too early for this shit. Several hours later. Hey. Uh, hey, hi, priest. Hi, priest, wake up. Come on, wake up. Hi, priest, are you awake? There's some sort of commotion down at the square. Let's take a look. Hey, look, guys. Everyone's gathered around. Ay 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 ay! I do not deserve this. I am outraged. What's up, everyone? Up, up! How could it be up? I ask you. My beautiful shop. My fine wares were stolen. Many, many teams are simply gone. Spread away. Dark clouds fill my heart. My bank was hit, but there are these are frightening times. Is the storage okay? No problem. The thing got stolen from under my eyes. That mom was not about to make a stupid move like that. <laughs> You're insinuating that we robbed for being careless? Now wait. Tell me, Cat Cleon. You saw this thief. Hmm? No, not very clear, I didn't. When I saw it, it had already taken off. Taken off? You mean it flew away? Yes. In yonder direction, yes. At tremendous speed, too. I got in that direction. That would be the northern range. It's uh, impossible to determine what the thief is, so we'll need to investigate this matter, pro matter properly. Yes, I beg for their justice. My faith visits face ruination. Hi, Reese. Want to look into this? The team took on the case of pursuing the murderer that stuck quickly on shop. We're gonna play the getaway spot. The northern range! Ah, yes, finally. Story and freaking. I love that. Oh. Thank God. I'm not doing anything yet. Uh, no. Just counting. Okay, I haven't been to here. Here, here, and here. That's four areas. Also, oh wow, I was not expecting to complete this area. This. <laughs> Woo! And then five. So yeah, that's like five left for me to hit. Oh shit, did I... No, that's just the amount of money I made. I see you still got some merch. Uh, I'll buy stuff next time then. Store. But, uh, yeah. Just gotta look at some things to sell. Mostly looking for shit to sell right now, but uh, right. 
it, for those watching this archive on YouTube, please comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the episode. For those watching on stream, well, it's good to hang out with you guys. Hope to see you next time and stuff. Man, why is Gravel Rock worse so much? Bye. But, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this... Uh, if you enjoy... I hope so. I'll see you all next time, guys. And, uh... One more thing. I'm buying a... I'm buying a place. Bye. That's... It's gonna dump my money, and that'll be it. Or actually, I think I'll just go now. Cypress signing out, and I will see you all next time, folks.